Good day, everyone. This is Zussi, Customer Success Manager at WGDP, and this is the Customer Success Team Sprint Update for January 20th. Uh, today, I'll be talking about uh, updates on the AIR program, as well as a new program, the Hackers in Residence program at Nkwashi. So looking at the AIR program, the main highlights we will have for this sprint is that we are extending the AIR 2 program until March the 6th in order to reach the original output um, of nine uh, life-size sculptures, as well as 12 new murals and six medium-size sculptures. Another highlight would be uh, the decision that we made to start the AIR 3 program in April for 10 artists. Uh, so in terms of the challenges of this sprint, uh, it will be to have a proper way to assess the AIR 2 program in order to increase the value created by the next uh, AIR program. Um, in terms of the output of this sprint, we have our regular Instagram and Facebook content, as well as nine sculptures currently being built. Uh, so you have the Bagman here, which is almost done uh, at Nkwashi. Uh, in terms of my objectives for the next sprint, it will be to build a proper framework to assess Air 2, uh, as well as to finalize the budget for a six or nine months long Air 3 program as well as cre to create an action plan for the Air 3 program starting in April, 2021. So now introducing the Hackers in Residence program, I'm very delighted to announce that we are kicking off the HRR program on March 22nd for the first cohort. Our goal is to have two Hackers in Residence for a start. Um, so we are partnering up with an educational company that will be providing the curriculum and the company currently has 147 potential candidates in Zambia that we could potentially pick from. Uh, another of the highlight would be that there is a strong collaboration going on with that educational partner. And uh, today we actually launched the social media campaign to recruit candidates, so which is separate from the candidates that the educational company has. Uh, so we have this first post, uh, so learn to code with free at Nkwashi that has been posted today on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, so when the applicants click that link, what they would see is a post on the uh, Nkwashi app for them to actually register their interest for the HR program. So now looking at the challenges of this sprint, the main challenge would be that um, it's very time sensitive. Uh, so we decided, I believe maybe 10 days ago to kick off the program on March 22nd. It means that recruitment and accommodation must be started by mid-February. In terms of the output of the sprint, we have uh, the Instagram social media campaign, as well as a brand ambassador playbook, which is still a work in progress. Um, so the objectives for the next sprint are to finalize this document. Uh, the brand ambassador playbook, which will be used also for the air program uh, in an effort to have these residents being, uh, have a direct part in the marketing for Nkwashi. Another objective would be to shortlist 10 potential hackers, as well as explore plans to increase accommodation uh, capacity, possibly from renting from Nkwashi clients that have the house almost ready at Nkwashi. Thank you very much. Uh, over to you, Mutali. All right, thank you, Zussi. Share my screen. So hello everyone, my name is Mutale. I'll be taking you through my CSM Sprint update. So I will start as usual with the voice of the client. Um, so here we have the feedback around the credit union uh, which was launched recently. So we have feedback here. The first one says, this is great. Honestly, whoever came up with this idea, God bless you. And our second feedback being, I did the right move. You, the Nkwashi team, have everything on hand to offer. Kudos to you, Nkwashi team. Uh, and then uh, the second voice of the client is around the questions concerning the credit union that was launched. So uh, the first one is, this is good, like the home improvement, but when do you access the loan? Uh, the second question was, good day, how does one qualify to get a loan? So obviously, all these queries that were brought in through the Nkwashi app were forwarded uh, to the respective credit union team to give them answers on how they can access the loan, how they qualify uh, to the credit union as well. So around the highlights of this print, 
Uh, we conducted a mini census with the Nkwashi custodian. So he assisted us with just giving us uh, names of uh, the workers who are living at Nkwashi at the moment. Uh, and that was a, a very big help in that, in the sense that we kind of got an idea about how many people are actually living at Nkwashi right now as workers and their families. So I enjoyed that uh, mini census that we did with him. And we also expanded on the construction process with Tamara and we documented it into a spreadsheet. So Tamara was very helpful in giving us information and, and the latest accurate numbers on exactly how many clients are going through each stage in their construction process. Uh, and we also connected with the credit union team as well so that we could help, uh, help them launch the announcement of the credit union through the Nkwashi application. Uh, and we're also able to connect with prospective clients by connecting them to the next step of membership as well. So this was done through SMSs and emails as well, and obviously through the Nkwashi app. So objectives for next sprint are obviously working on how we can achieve moving of clients and the construction process. So our, our head of CSM had actually suggested an announcement that site is open just to kind of get people knowledge in the in the knowledge in the knowledge and the sense that site is actually open and if they want to begin construction they can make those necessary moves. Uh, also sharing of flow and construction plans as well, uh, just kind of constantly reminding clients uh, that these services are available for them and are quite flexible. Uh, and then obviously targeting of, of eligible clients and how we can help elevate the process from payment to building. So obviously this is targeting people who have completed their plot payments uh, or have completed when 80% plot payments. So looking forward to how that works out for us. Um, so obviously our sprint, uh, our sprint updates through email campaigns and SMS campaigns was a credit union launch announce announcement and the follow-ups that we did after that. Um, Highlights were well, obviously the Inquashi's perspective on the census. Uh, this is still ongoing. Uh, they kind of gave us a breakdown on what they are, on what they perceive to be the census at Inquashi, and this is obviously everyone who has paid for a household there. Uh, we also got some good we got a good client feedback call as well um, on the construction perspective. You know, people say they want to start building when the university is done, because according to them, you know, some of them are, that's their, they are around that area of work. So they would feel more comfortable once the university is done to actually start building and then moving to Inquashi. So we did, we get so many different kinds of feedback from those client feedback calls. Um, and then obviously uh, documenting our construction process data that we received from Tamar. The main challenge that we got from this from this past sprint was uh, the bulk import. Unfortunately, I had to uh, bring in an engineer to just kind of help me uh, be able to bring in new people through the bulk import on the Nkwashi app. Uh, so it took a while, but likely we persevered through the end. So this definitely needs to be improved and, work on, and worked on so it is extremely user-friendly. Uh, so goals for this, Sprint, uh, coming sprint, obviously, to create an FAQ for the Nkwashi City Savings and Credit Union and share that with clients and prospective clients. Um, begin to meet with clients that have recently begun construction to learn about their road to construction as well, get a different kind of perspective story there. Obviously, continue to send out service to winning contacts. Uh, these are eligible people who are who can begin construction. Uh, this facilitates our client feedback calls uh, and continue to build engagement with the existing clients through sales and marketing content as usual. And then obviously providing updated and accurate plot information. Unfortunately, we're still down on one uh, phase three client, which is the biggest uh, phase of clients that Tenkwashi has. So we need uh, an, an, an inaccurate and latest uh, amount of information on this one. And then obviously uh, the engineering team is working on the payments facility there so that we can kind of start recording uh, clients invoices on the Nkwashi app. So looking forward to that one as well. So thank you so much for uh, listening to my sprint update. I will see you next time. Thank you, Mutale. Hello everyone, this is Doreen Okiri. I'll start sharing my screen shortly.
as I prepare to share with you my second sprint update. So I'll start off with uh, what we did in the last sprint. So I, I had a great opportunity to get a chance to meet with uh, Nkwashi. I had met uh, one or two people, but this was a chance to formally understand um, their goals for 2021 and how double GDP can support their growth. It, it is still a work in progress in terms of uh, us being able to build a success plan, but I, I do see there are a lot of opportunities uh, from which we can collaborate. And there are already a few ideas that are, are running through, which um, Tale and Zusi have already uh, shed a bit of a light on. Uh, another highlight of, of the sprint was around the customer adoption and the population metric. Uh, more specifically is around uh, confirmation around the steps in the construction process and also the pipeline. So we do have data that supports um, where construction currently uh, lies. So as you can see in the first row, what we have is a, a list of steps. So uh, with Nkwashi, we have settled four plots been fully purchased. Uh, the plot owner has been eligible to start construction. They purchase a floor, floor plan. Their construction is approved by Nkwashi and the other relevant authorities. They progress the construction, which can take it from at least seven months to uh, the length of construction that the contractor and the client have, have uh, agreed on. And finally, the construction is completed and thereafter we'll be able to build up on the census as highlighted by Mutale. We shall be tracking this data every two weeks. Um, we can see so far from uh, the first list in terms of January data, that we have a, a very strong pipe in terms of the fully purchased plots and even more importantly, those eligible to, to start construction. And even in the sense of uh, the floor, floor plan patches, there's quite a bit of activity that we, we can be able to do to uh, push this forward into either approval or for them to, to be able to start um, constructing. Uh, it will take a lot of collaboration with Nkwashi to be able to achieve this uh, because it, it, it does have an element of, of finance that has to be considered. And we have found from the client um, interviews that Mutale also has, has highlighted on that uh, the, the finance aspect has, has been very key and that hence the very high interest in uh, the Nkwashi Credit Union. Sorry about that. So the goals for the sprint, um, one is just to get a firmed up definition of resident. Uh, this will help us in the census uh, um, work and uh, will also be a part of the success plan that we have with Nkwashi and will therefore uh, help us uh, define and work towards our population metric with a crystallized idea of what it is that we're aiming to achieve. Uh, but, but in addition to that, we also have our goal, which is to drive residents in Nkwashi. There are uh, a few programs or a few activities that we shall continue uh, working on and uh, um, also kick off. Firstly, the AI and HIR programs that have been highlighted by Zusi continue to be pillars uh, to drive this residency. We are also working to have a guidance between Nkwashi's clients and itself through the construction process and coordinating with the infrastructure developments, because as highlighted, the, the time within which those infrastructure developments are completed are an impetus for a number of the clients to con con conclude their or even begin their construction. Client surveys are also proving to be quite um, informative, and we're using this as part of the um, information that we're using for the infrastructure development coordination. And then finally, we'll be looking at uh, making some improvements in the newsletter content management. So thank you very much. Uh, this has been the CSM Sprint Update.